Do you have a time limit for the for the guests? No. No, no. no time limit. No time limit. Eat as much as you can. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. I'm, I'm just here by the ocean, looking at the beautiful sunset. There's a party going on by the pool. There are people taking wedding photos, sitting by the water. This whole romantic atmosphere, and I can't stop thinking about the all-you-can-eat buffet I'm about to feast on tonight. That's right, I'm at the Soft Tail Hotel, home to one of the best, well, supposedly one of the best buffets in the world, the Spiral Buffet. Now, I've heard about this buffet over four years ago, and it's supposed to be one of the biggest and best buffets ever constructed. And I've been wanting to come to the Philippines just to try this thing out. So finally, I'm here, I'm hungry. This whole atmosphere got me a little emotional. Let's go eat. Hey guys, we are in the Spiral Buffet. Been waiting for this a long time. I have with me Eric, and, yes. and you run the buffet. Yes, I do. And you're gonna show us around. I will. He's gonna be our culinary guide to this master, this buffet masterpiece. All right, Eric. Ready? What do I need to know? Uh, well, first you need to know definition of uh, atelier. Okay. So atelier is basically, uh, it's a French word, it basically is a workshop. So we are showcasing here the chef working in front of the guests, so preparing fresh food. So, so basically you're just trying to get the food out as fresh as possible. Correct. That's All good. Right. Please. This is what we call the uh, Asian section. We start from Filipino cuisine on mm -hmm. the other side of the corner. Okay. We also have Thai. Korean and the, one of the major uh, part of this uh, Chinese, uh, the Asian area is actually Chinese food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, good. So this is the Asian corner. So, okay. so we're in Asia right now, so this yes. will just be the corner. Yes. Okay. So, more on the healthy corners. Uh, we can skip the healthy corner. Okay. <laughs> but that looks good. Actually, those herbs, we have a garden in Sofitel, so we grow them. On the other side, we transfer to a seafood area. But the beauty of this is that if you don't want to have it uh, cold, you can actually uh, have it reheated and served with your own really? sauce, like garlic butter. Wait, wait, wait. What are my options? Any. You just what? ask. We do. <laughs> I, I can cook it any way I want. Yes. Jesus. You can also request for your whatever pizza you want. Hang on a sec. You guys heard, I don't have to be limited to that pizza. Uh, hot Japanese atelier, so teppanyaki. So select, no. select your dishes and then uh, the cheese room. They have a cheese room. Yes. And then we move on to the dessert area. Oh, I see. Whoa. Okay, you guys aren't seeing what I'm seeing right now. Usually at a buffet, I see one chocolate fountain. Mm. One. They have three. Caramel, no, matcha, and, and chocolate. Matcha. matcha. This is the craziest thing. Look at that. She's making the desserts right now. Chocolaterie. She's making homemade. all this stuff. Yeah. I might just oh, stay yeah. here for six hours. I don't know. <laughs> all right, I appreciate your help. Thank Eric. you, Mike. Thank I'm you. Gonna... This is going to be so awesome. You guys know I'm always excited about a buffet. And this one, after getting that grand tour, I, I'm so pumped. And bread basket. Now, I, I, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna stuff myself with bread because that's just not a cool thing to do at a buffet. But, hmm, just one bite of that. You guys ready to hit up there? Let's hit up there. I am a little overwhelmed about what I should be getting. Um, but let's, let's start a little light. Let's start with the salad. Little lettuce, some greens. Little tartlet thingy. She's. Do I give it to you? What dressing? Um, I want. I will take some. Uh, maybe just like uh, oil and vinegar. Oh, look at all the olive oil you got. I'll take some chili or chili oil. Thank you so much. All right, got my salad. Now let's go get something that typically eats this. When you're at a great buffet, there's so many options out there. You're feeling overwhelmed. You don't know where to start. Always remember, just like a good story, start at the beginning. This looks like the Korean section. Gotta have some bulgogi. Little kimchi to give it some balance. Thai spicy beef salad. You know, I already got a salad, so we're good. Tom yum gong. 
100%. Add a little scallion, a little chili, cilantro. All right, let's see what else I want. Ah, look at that. Fresh salmon belly. Chicken adobo, sure. I'm in the Philippines. A little starch, seafood. I think we've got enough for round one. Here we go. A meal, four years in the making. And it all starts with a bite of salad. Tom Yum Gong. Oh, I did not need to put that extra chili in there. This thing is super everything. Super vinegary, super spicy, super lemongrassy. So much flavor in this soup. That is my kind of soup. Mm, I've been eyeing this. This is the salmon belly. And look, look at this. I'm just gonna say that it bruises easily. That cut like nothing. Oh. oh my God. I cannot believe this is a buffet item. I feel like I got this fish at some fancy steakhouse. It's that good. I love fish belly because there's a lot of fat here. And this thing, look at it. You guys see the juice oozing out of this salmon? Mm. No wonder they put out the vinegar sauce for this. But you know what? This on its own, that is perfect the way it is. I hope you heard that. You don't need to change. You're just delicious the way you are. Oh, that's fatty though. That's why I got the vegetables. Most people eat vegetables because they're trying to be healthier. I eat vegetables because it's gonna help me eat more meat. Oh, this pork belly is ridiculous. It's a little sweet. I think some of that vinegar sauce touched it and it just really highlighted the fatty, smoky flavor of the belly. Pretty good first plate. That salmon belly, definitely the star. Let's go for the main event. Gotta get some lox up. Hey, how are ya? Could I please have some lox up uh, with some uh, fish balls and tofu? Um, and I think that's good. What is that? Spinach noodle. Yeah, I'll take some spinach noodle. Gotta be healthy, you know? Thank you so much. Let's get some extra chili in there. What is that soup? Uh, bakute. bakute. Yeah, bakute? Uh, we gotta get some bakute. I'll tell you, one of my favorite pieces of, 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 <laughs> of like roasted chicken it's just this tip of the wing here. You see how charred? I feel like this is the most flavorful piece of, of a roast chicken. This roast pork looks amazing. Look at all that fat. Can I get a Peking duck, please? Whoa, they actually use hand crepes. Usually when, when, when buffets say Peking duck, it's usually made with some bun. Thank you. Look at that. Can't wait to eat the heck out of that duck. I love paradas. This looks like some gold curry. All right, can I have, please have a little bit of lamb? Thank you. And the final thing, we're gonna customize some seafood. Some prawns, these are big prawns by the way. Mussels and some crab. Let's cook this in some garlic butter. Can I cook this uh, with uh, some garlic butter? Just make sure baked with cheese. Oh, baked with cheese? You can put, yeah, bake it with cheese, please. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's go finish this little little bitty round two and come back for our seafood. Round two, let's start with the soup. Oh yeah, it's coconutty, spicy. That's actually really good laksa. Way better than something that belongs on a buffet. It's thick, great curry flavor. Mm. Actually, what am I doing? You gotta eat laksa with a spoon. There's just tons of flavor in this soup. I can't get enough of this right now. Look at this parada. Look, look at this thing flake. This thing's flakier than Phoebe Buffet. Grab some goat curry with it. Oh, nothing like fresh parada with some good curry. Mm. This thing is so delicious. Crispy, buttery, flaky. The meat in this curry. Oh, I think it's just crushing my tongue. The lamb. Ooh, I thought this lamb was gonna be really tough, but no, it is not. A little fluffy little cloud. Mm. This is what I'm really excited about. Look at these pieces of roast pork. You see all that fat? This is all lean meat and this is all fat. I bet you a lot that this is gonna be excellent. Oh. Mm. Let me just close my eyes and enjoy this for a minute here. I can hear pork angels singing. Can you, can you guys hear that? I love it when the meat's perfectly charred. A little sweet, great ratio between lean meat and fat. That's what gives it that extra, mm, you know what I'm saying? The beautiful flavor that only pork belly has. This thing is just filled with it. And I, like I said, my favorite piece of roast chicken. Mm, not that much meat because it's a joint, but all the meat on here, that's the best meat. And the Peking duck. I hate it when buffets or restaurants give you a Peking duck and they put it inside that little steamed bun. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be in a crepe. Well, for a buffet Peking duck, 
that's not gonna disappoint ya. <gasps> Just got my seafood. Check it out. All the mussels are oven roasted with cheese and garlic on top. You gotta eat this right away, otherwise it just won't work. Mm. That's buttery, cheesy, garlicky. The crab, dip it in the butter and garlic. Mm. Made to order seafood on a buffet. You can't beat that. Oh, that was a good round three. Let's keep going. Oh, they got some shrimp pizza, mussel pizza. I don't want to create my own pizza. Uh, I would like some bacon, it'd be great. Thank you. Let's go get some prosciutto. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. What cheese do you think will go great on a pizza? Mm. <laughs> the beer cheese. Can I put this on a pizza, you think? Get this? Yes. I love this. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Then we got enough for a pizza? A little more. Come on. Oh, my cheese is good. Should we have a little fish cake on our pizza? Why not? Can I get a little onion and green? Oh, garlic. And some mushrooms. I think I'm ready. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's go make our pizza. Could I make a pizza with this? Thank you. I think we got one more section to check out. Look at this, tiny little crabs. Hello, do you have any more uh, beef strip loin? By the way, whenever I leave to grab something, they fold up my napkin and whatever uh, silverware I dirty, they, they, they give me new ones. Anyway, this plate is just kind of weird. It's just a couple of uh, little crabs and some beef. At this point, I'm just waiting for my pizza. Hmm, there it is. My own creation. Look at that, thank you so much. What was it? What did I put here? I don't even know what that is anymore. Oh, that's the fish cake. Look at this, the fish cake. The different prosciutto, different cheese. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Look at this. I gotta take a bite right here. I'm telling you guys, I'm 100% serious here. This is amazing. I know there's some weird stuff out here, but all the different types of cheese work so well. The ham and the bacon, can't go wrong with that. The fish cake, chewy and delicious. This is a pretty good pizza. And like I said, it is cheesy as all get out. Look at that. They should actually make this pizza, leave it out here and call it a Mike Chen. Yeah, I bet people will like it. I just ate that whole thing. I'm gonna declare that pizza a success. There's only one thing left to do. You know what it is. Let's go get some dessert. Lava cake, ah, oh, sticky rice cake. Can I get some gelato, please? Thank you. All right, I, I gotta get some of this shaved ice. Oh, thank you. Some of this, not sure what this is. Corn flakes? Sure, I'm not huge on beans, but I'll take some red beans. Milk. It's some ice cream in here. This one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna grab one of the smallest oranges I've ever seen. This is a Zerg selection. It's just insane. Check this out. So this thing just, just pulls open. Chocolate moist cake. Ooh, mango passion shooter. Choco mousse. Chocolate mousse. This cake looks awesome. Oh, for the condiment? Sticky yeah, rice. Sticky oh, rice. thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, thank you. So nice. That's chocolate cake. Looks awesome. Little gummies. I don't, I don't, even, I don't even like gummies, but I, I just want it because it's in a drawer. And then they're homemade chocolates. Chocolate truffle. Corn flakes with matcha. Wow, this is a dessert feast. Ice cream, bunch of desserts, fresh pineapple juice. Mm. Oh, that's thick. Halo, halo. I'm happy, happy. They make their uh, ice cream in house, and this thing is kind of melting already. Beautifully creamy. That's chocolate cake. That's a super smooth chocolate cake. Love anything with mousse inside. It's got a little bit of bread pudding. Eat it with the gelato. 
I got this rice cake and gave me this. They said to eat it with the rice cake. By the way, every single staff member at this place is just beyond the nicest person ever. Mmm, oh, they're right. A little crunchy here. I'm not sure what the brown stuff is. Mmm, a little brown sugar. Oh yeah, it definitely adds a lot to this rice cake. On its own, the texture is good, but it's not sweet enough because the only sweetness is coming from the coconut shavings on top, and that's not all that sweet. But with this, this thing is elevated by a lot. Lava cake, oh jeez, look at this. Oh man, look at that chocolava flow. Oh my goodness. Wow, I just took a spoonful. Like pure melted chocolate. I feel like I need to use some of this Halo Halo. I'm just gonna give it a nice mix with the ice cream, with the ice. Oh yeah, it's refreshing. You know what, the cornflakes, that's not bad. And with the ice cream, it gives it a little creamy texture. Wow, favorite dessert item so far. Strawberry? <laughs> I like this strawberry cake. I think I'm getting a little sugar high. This is a mango shot. Nice, tangy and pleasant. This is awesome. It's like a pina cotta with raspberry jam on top. A little smooth, a little tingy, a lot of awesome. Homemade chocolates, as full as I am, and I'm really full. This was so good, it brought back some of my appetite. All right, guys, I'm, I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna eat a little bit of orange because this thing is just so darn cute. You know when you've been wanting to go to a place like for, for a long time, for years, you kind of play it up in your head and you're also kind of asking yourself like how, how good could it possibly be? It's much better than you expected and that's this place for me. It's funny like when I filmed my first buffet in Vegas, I thought that's where the best buffet in the world is. But after having the buffets in Singapore, Vietnam, Hong Kong and now here, guys, it ain't even close. This buffet in particular is unlike any I've ever been to before. It's like you're given a box of random Legos, in this case, food Legos, and you can make them into anything you want. Also, every ingredient in its quality, they, they make all their stuff in-house. That all equals to one of the best buffet experiences I've ever had. So far, I think this buffet and the buffet I had in Vietnam, of all the buffets I've ever eaten at, these two, no question, the best. And all this, $60 tax included. And plus, like I mentioned, every single person here, from the managers to the servers to the chefs, some of the most courteous people I've ever met in this industry. So guys, do yourselves a favor. If you're ever in the Philippines, anywhere around this area, come here, try this place out, and find out for yourself why, why I think this is one of the best buffets in the world. And make sure you customize your own pizza. And guys, as always, the information for this place is listed for you in my description box below. Give it a try, let me know how you like it. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we eat again, see you later.